Hindu, a lot of moms have reached out to us trying to know that how to prepare their child for school. And again, there are moms who have, who have kids as young as 18 months old and even two to three years old, but still this, the aspect of how do you make your child ready for school? How, how do we navigate that? Um, so I, I mean, I feel a few things have to be done to prepare the child because the child is now leaving the safety and security of the home and go, going into a newer space. The first thing I would say is for the parents to be extremely comfortable with the space they're sending to the child in. Okay. You have to be able to trust the space and trust the adults there. Okay. Because if you don't, if you are confused or anxious about that, you will for sure pass it on to your child. So that's the first thing. Secondly, to get the child familiar with that space. So maybe take the child there two, three times, four, however many times you can. So the child is familiar with the space there. And thirdly, um, if the schools could allow the parents to be inside and until this child starts trusting the other adults, because it's very tough for a child to leave a parent and go to another adult they've not even seen before. So for the child to know that, okay, my parents trust this adult, so I can also trust her or him. So that's important, I think. Um, but also there's a fine gap between when they trust the adult and when it becomes a habit for the child that the parent comes inside. Yeah. But you will see, I mean, if you observe the child, the teacher and the parents can see that now the child is comfortable with the uh, teacher yeah. or the adult there. And that time the parents have to step back and say, now you can go and I'm going to stop coming to school. Okay. So that's also going to be tough. The child is going to cry, but at least you know that the child is feeling safe. So, but I think yeah, you're right, kid, the child does sense a lot because as I remember when my older one first started, he, the day when he, he, we went to the school and in a casual three, four days just to check it out, he was very happy playing around. But the day he knew that now I'm going to be left here, there he was itself on a very clutching uh, situation, like where he was not letting me go. He was just around me. Whereas a week earlier, he was just fine roaming around and very happy about the whole space. So how do you talk to them? I mean, or how do you tell them this is very safe or this is, again, like you mentioned? Yeah, so I think talking to them only does that much. Yeah them seeing us being comfortable in the space and us being comfortable with the child going to the other adult i think that's what gives them that real security that it's a safe space and also like when they start going to school so obviously there's a change in their routine right i mean that's another challenge also where which makes the child uncomfortable right they have to get up at a certain time then their meals time change so how soon should one start preparing the child for this because there are a lot of changes that the child is yes. going through. Um, I mean, it depends on how long it, the child takes to adjust to a new routine. Yeah. For I think the biggest challenge is if the child is having a sleep cycle or something in between and at school they don't have uh, the facility to sleep or they're expected to work at that time. Yeah. I think that's the toughest challenge for the child. So I think the sleep routine has to be fixed first. Okay. Then the food routine can, can be fixed, but sleep has to be taken care of before the child can be sent to school okay. because then they get cranky and that's yeah. when they really miss the parent when they're sleepy yeah. and not able to sleep. All, I mean, and see, most of us are working moms and we have a need that we sometimes have to send our child earlier than we would like it. But is there an age that we should be okay to start the school with? Like, is there something too early, too late? Is so uh, what is? It really depends. So two and a half is what I feel is a good age if the mother or the father is a stay-at-home yeah. parent and is happy being a stay-at-home parent. Yeah. That's an important part because if you're not happy being a stay-at-home parent, then I don't think you should uh, do this part of keeping the child until two and a half three because if work gives you happiness then i think you should put the child earlier so that when you are with the child at least then you can be the happy parent that the child wants you to be yeah. i feel you're doing a disservice by keeping the child at home and you are a little uh, disappointed with yourself yeah. doing that so even for that if you have to start maybe at 18 months 19 months is that something okay? yes. many uh, schools take children when they start walking because they're a little more independent that is totally fine because now the situation has changed. So 
children will adapt and parents will adapt too yeah also like sometimes even as as a stay at home mom um, you might be in a happy situation everything but then the thing the need to send the school to child to school also occurs because you think the child is missing out on something or maybe social interaction peer interaction is that something we should worry until what age should we be okay with that like uh, uh, so really the child need not leave the mother if she's uh, she's happy being at home yeah. until 2 and a half 3 years absolutely not that's all the child needs the mother is all the child needs okay. does not need too much social interaction if you're just taking the child down to play or to the park that's about it yeah. they don't need anything else i think after 3 it's good to expose the child to the other activities that are available and to the routine and to the children okay. that environment but until 3 for sure okay. not required thank you hindola for helping us understand how to prepare our little ones for school and how do we prepare ourselves also we have had a lot of questions coming in on our whatsapp community about this topic and it was very really nice discussing this with hindola so guys please keep writing in to us on our whatsapp on our instagram and stay tuned for our next episode